Did you ever want to chat with an entire novel? No way you can copy and paste all of that into ChatGPT. But you could theoretically copy and paste all of that into Cloud2. Or more likely a very long article or research paper. The only problem is just that Cloud2 is only available in the US and the UK, leaving Europe out in the cold. Hey. And of course the rest of the world as well. But no worries, I got you covered. You can still use Cloud2 in the rest of the world if you know how. And I'm not talking about a VPN or any paid services here. Just head over to a website called po.com. And here you create an account or just log in with your Google account. And when you are in, you can use multiple different AI chatbots. Also GPT-4 by the way, but it's limited to one use per day. And here you can pick Claude 2 and finally summarize really long texts, articles, research papers or whatever you want without worrying about any token limit. So let's test that with one thing that I really wanted to summarize as well, which are the terms and services of Pi, because I'm especially interested in the privacy here. So we just copy all of that and then paste it into Cloud2. And then let's say, please let me know anything important about these policies and if there's any hidden or overcomplicated language. And there it is, scrolling all the way to the bottom here. <laughs> I try to paste that into ChatGPT, way too much. All right, here we go. And you can read through that if you want, but it sounds like the policies are written pretty well. So let's just ask one follow-up question. What do the policies state about third-party applications or about international borders? Looking good as well, and Cloud2 can definitely remember all the tokens that we used. Do you already have access to Cloud2? Or will you head over to po.com and use it right now? Let me know your experience. When using any AI chatbot, the most important things are, of course, your prompts because bad input equals bad output. In this video, I talk about the basics of prompt engineering and how every beginner can easily get 10 times or even 100 times better output. So I'll see you right over here. Thank you for being part of my community. What is your favorite chatbot? Let me know in the comments and let me know what chatbot should I make more videos about. See you in the next one.